What's up? It's Storytime Sunday, and since it's Halloween spooky time, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to tell a story. Wait a second, don't you make educational historical videos? All that may be true, all I can say to explain is, shut the fuck up. I do what I want to make on this shithole I call a channel. Fine, then I'm out subscribing. <laughs> anyway, story time. Okay, Halloween. Time of spooks, pumpkins, movies that make you not sleep for the fear that man with knife is at your door, time for Shigur to get kidnapped, and prime time for assault with a stick, apparently. Now let's define assault. Time for learning from Google with Kronkosfer. Assault, a physical attack or to make a physical attack on. So now that we understand the basic premise of that, now to get to my trauma of Halloween. So it all started in 6th grade, October 31st, 2016. So imagine me, but if I was small and stupid. I'm excited for Halloween, and instead of candy, I get beat by an old dude with a stick. So it's the end of school, I get off the bus, now in this neighborhood, the streets are kinda weird, there are some curving streets and weird yards, so since I was lazy, I would cut through the yards to get home. They didn't have fences, and I didn't destroy or damage anything, so for the three days that I did this, there was never a problem. Except for one day, when some dude jumps out from his porch with a PVC pipe and hits me in the arm with it. It was hard enough to rip a bit of my shirt, tear some skin, and leave a decent sized bruise on my bicep. So I go the long way home with my buddy. I get to my grandma's house, which is where I waited until my parents picked me up, and explain what happened to her. My dad gets there, I explain what happened to him, and being the nice, understanding, calm dad he is, just goes, Oh fuck no. And we drive right to the police station. We explain what happened, I show the officer my bruise, he takes a picture for evidence, then gives me a bit of paperwork to explain what he looked like, what happened, you know, just everything they need. So they got everything they needed, I went on with my life, went trick-or-treating, didn't have fun, and went to school the next day. So I'm just living the dream at school for the next week, and my dad has a meeting with the dude and the police. Dude explains his side of the story, saying I've been doing this for weeks, and damaging property, which is an absolute lie. My dad says, so you got a weapon. The dude says, oh, it wasn't a weapon. Okay, well, let's call it a tool. You took a tool and jumped out and hit my kid with this tool after never warning him prior to this. The dude kept trying to justify it and said that since I was running at him, he took a, quote, defensive stance to defend himself. My dad went off on him a bit. The police saw this was going nowhere, so they just ended it. My dad got the final word by saying, you took a weapon, waited for my kid to get off the bus, jumped in front of him, and injured him. I'll see you in court. So the police ended up ruling in my favor. The dude had to write an apology letter, attend anger management classes, and assault on a minor was put on his permanent record. He was also supposed to pay us some money since we wanted to press charges, but since it was his first offense, he got a fine to the court, but no money to us. This also meant that we couldn't take him to court to settle this. He got a slap on the wrist, and that was that for the court but I still want that fucking money. The apology letter I got from him was absolute bullshit. I still have it today. Here's a picture of it. And it goes something like this. Christopher, on October 31st, 2016, an incident occurred at my home that I will regret for the rest of my life. I was increasingly frustrated after weeks of observing you and some schoolmates running through my backyard without permission, so I wanted to correct the situation. My frustration led me to making an extremely poor decision. I now realize that I should have handled it by addressing the perceived issue in a more appropriate manner. As an adult, I should have known better. I had absolutely no intention of having any physical contact of any type with you. I am truly sorry about the scratch and bruise on your arm that resulted from the physical contact that took place. I realize this incident may have you thinking that all, quote, old, gray-haired men are no good. Please don't think that. I'm a father and a grandfather and realize that what happened on that day should never have occurred. I assure you that I will not do anything like this to you or anyone else ever again in my lifetime. Once again, I am truly and sincerely sorry for what took place and pray that you can find forgiveness for me within your heart. Cordially, Paul D's Nuts. Aw, what a sweet guy. And an even sweeter letter. Except for the fact that they aren't sweet at all. Here, let's pick this apart piece by piece. Number one. Quote, after weeks of observing you and some schoolmates running through my backyard without permission. Okay, it was not weeks of this. It was three days. THREE DAYS! And it wasn't me and some schoolmates. It was just me except for the day that you assaulted me with the pipe. So that's a lie. And without permission, you never even screamed at us to Get off my lawn, get little whipper fuckers. <laughs> like they say in the movies. I would rather have had you be that dude from Monster House who's at least telling me to get off his lawn instead of doing what you pulled. Number two. Quote,
quote, I had absolutely no intention of having any physical contact of any type with you. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Yeah, attacking me with a pipe is definitely not an intention of contact, fucker. I agree. NUMBER THREE! Well look, he said he's sorry right here. You should be able to forgive him for that if he apologized. Well yes, but actually no. He never said he was sorry for attacking me. He said he's sorry that I got a scratch and a bruise on my arm from him doing that. He's not sorry at all, and he still thinks he did the right thing. Stop trying to defend this dude. Why are you even here? How'd you get in my house? Why didn't my dog kill you? Get out or I'll have legal reason to hit you with this pipe. NUMBER FOUR! You say you're a father and a grandfather. Is this how you'd apologize to your fucking grandkids? No, dude. You're treating this like I'm your fucking teacher and I'm grading your apology essay. Well, let me give you a lesson on what to do to improve this. DON'T FUCKING ASSAULT CHILDREN! Then blah blah blah, find forgiveness from you within your heart, fuck off trying to find sympathy from me, cordially Paul D's nuts, and we're done. I should also mention that literally every day after he assaulted me, he would wait for my bus to arrive at my stop, then run outside to his porch, and stare at us, making sure them shitty and piss fuckers stay off me lawn. I don't know why I became Mr. Krabs there for a second. <laughs> so what did we learn today? We learned that cutting through yards without damaging anything, not harassing anyone, and being excited for Halloween is wrong and deserves a pipe to the arm. I give this man's essay a D- and a fuck you, suck a dick sticker from me. Anyway, that's all for this one. I'm Krokosfer, and thanks for watching.